Well, Privyet comrades, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is entitled Re-Education. Um, those of you who've seen movies or read history about, you know, China or North Korea or the former Soviet Union and the famous Gulag Archipelago, um, it probably have been exposed to the idea of re-education camps. Effectively, this is where the state looks at the individual and says, you do not accept the views of the state, therefore you are wrong, and the only way to deal with you is to forcibly treat you as though you are a criminal and you know inculcate you with the ideals of the socialist utopia that is the host government. Um, we normally, we look at this and we recoil in horror, right? I mean, it's completely antithetical to the idea of individual freedom. Um, but then we breathe a sigh of relief, thinking to ourselves, well, this is what has happened or is happening in foreign lands. You know, it's happening here in the United States as well. Um, I mean, one could argue that the public educational system is nothing more than essentially forced, you know, re-education. I won't go into that. But... Um, it happens actually at a judicial level as well. We had a client that we filed a motion for diversion. The uh, individual had a was found with a firearm, had a an Arizona permit, and was erroneous in thinking that the Arizona permit allowed them to carry in California. Um, they're incidentally an Arizona resident, or at least was were at the time of the of arrest. Um, so we filed our motion for diversion. And the judge agreed, but required that the defendant go through the Johns Hopkins no-touch gun safety class. We had never heard of such a thing, so we did a little research. And Johns Hopkins does, in fact, have a no-touch gun safety class. It's a 16-hour course, and its curriculum is based around the principle that guns are bad. You shouldn't own one, and you should give money to groups that are effectively organized around the eradication of the Second Amendment. Uh, it's nothing more than a political indoctrination class, and you can imagine this is incredibly problematic. Um, you know, we always think of re-education camps being sort of a residency program. But they don't have to be. They can be done via remote learning as well. And this is a classic example of that. And it's further an erosion of trust in the judiciary for even promulgating such a, a, a heinous idea. In any event, do read the blog. It comes out on, fr on Wednesday excuse me, at ArtemisHQ.com forward slash blog. And as always, train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Above all else, stay safe.